we're gonna crush up this malachite and see if we can paint with it. I know, I know, safety first. Time to destroy these little crystals. You do not want to mess around with malachite because in its purest form, it contains about 57% copper. Ingesting too much of it could give you blue diarrhea. And I'm not kidding. Unfortunately, that's not even the worst of it. You could potentially get kidney failure as well. Thankfully, it doesn't have enough bioavailability to get into your body through skin contact. You'd have to ingest or inhale a large amount of it. And that can be easily prevented by wearing the proper protective gear. Copper actually has antimicrobial and antifungal properties. In the past, malachite was used to make a paste to treat open wounds. This helped to prevent infection, but thankfully we have much better products out there nowadays. If you do a lot of gardening, you'll know that a lot of the best antifungal treatments actually have copper in them. But since we're painting, it's important to note that malachite actually has a really long history as a pigment. It's been used in paintings and for makeup for thousands of years throughout many different cultures. I'll admit I didn't use the proper technique here, so it turned out a bit grainy, but I love this color.